broadcasting live from the Cobb Galleria Center for SOAR 2022. It's time for North Fulton Business Radio, brought to you by Renaissance Bank. Now, here's your host. And hello again, folks. John Ray with Business Radio X, and we are, again, broadcasting from SOAR 2022 for Sherm Atlanta, and this is exciting. We're glad to be here, and I'm sitting alongside Cynthia Thompson. Cynthia is editor and publisher of HR Professionals Magazine. Hi, Cynthia. Hello, John. How are you? I'm great. It's great to have you on the show. It's wonderful to be here. Yeah, it's, it's uh, terrific. Talk a little bit about your work at HR Professionals Magazine. We have a wonderful magazine for HR professionals, mm-hmm. and it is delivered to HR professionals in nine states in the southeast. Oh, wow. Basically, the SEC conference, if you think of it that way. <laughs> and that's growing, right? <laughs> it is. It is. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Are you growing faster than the, than the SEC? I bet you I are. I would like to think so. I bet you are. Uh, well, that's uh, that's pretty cool. Talk about the background of the magazine. I mean, how, how did you get started? Well, I am a recovering CHRO, let us say. <laughs> okay. For over 30 years. Wow. So, we started having grandkids and wanted to be free to travel a little more and mm-hmm. to be with them and visit when we could. Mm-hmm. And my daughter-in-law was actually a publisher. Now she has three kids, so she's no longer doing it, but she got us started. She was also a graphics designer. So she said, why don't you start a magazine? And I said, I don't know anything about magazines. Mm. She said, but I do. So this was her brainchild. Wow. And that was 12 years ago. So she got you started, then ran off, had kids, and left you to it, huh? Yes, but she gave me three beautiful grandchildren. Oh, that's a better, yeah, that's a that's good a trait. That's a better deal. That's yeah. a good trait. Yeah, Yeah, I've absolutely. got grandkids, too, so I know what you're talking about. Right, that's right. a great trait. Yeah, it's cool. Well, so t- talk about the content of the magazine, how you get the content, and obviously you're aimed at HR professionals, but but uh, what the kinds of subjects you think are important for HR professionals to hear right now? Well, Interesting because there are so many different functions for HR. There's compensation, there's training, there's payroll, there's employment law, there's recruiting, there's talent management. So our magazine covers all of those topics and our sponsors provide our content. So they're naturally experts in their fields. Mm-hmm. So we have excellent content. We, uh, we already said we're in nine states. We have 23,000 digital subscribers. Oh, wow. And 40,000 readers. Mm-hmm. And our, we are very honored that our magazine is posted monthly on the Sherm Chapter websites in all the nine states. And we provide magazines for all the, con- we cover all the conferences live. Just and, like you're here, yes, like, you, yes. like you're doing here. Yes. Yep. And so we provide magazines for all the attendees the print issue, mm-hmm. and just love what we're doing. That is awesome. That is great. So the so some of the let's talk. Just give some samples. Some of the recent topics, subjects that you covered in the magazine. Well, the August issue is very interesting because we had a couple of Supreme Court rulings come down that impact employers. Uh-huh. Roe v. Wade. For instance, travel benefits, if you have employees who need to travel outside the state, for instance, um, a lot of employees are now offering that. Mm. And then we had the uh, Supreme Court case on public prayer. Mm -hmm. Right. And uh, generally, most businesses do not want their employees to discuss uh, religion in the workplace. Mm -hmm. So we have an article uh, about how to handle this issue because... People have been barred up to now from bringing religious materials to the workplace. Some people want to put a Bible on their table or they want to put a poster up about a revival at their church or whatever. That's been banned. And now it's going to be uh, an interesting impact now that the Supreme Court has says it's okay to pray in public. Yeah, That opens the door for uh, some issues that employees are going to have to deal with in the workplace. So things are going to keep changing like they always do, right? and you better stay in touch and be reading HR Professionals Magazine to keep in touch with all that, right? That's right. Now, you have a uh, webinar series. Mm-hmm. We do webinars every Thursday at 2 p.m., Okay, and we provide HRCI and SHRM credits. They're all pre-approved. Wow. 
So if you're a certified HR professional, then you want to tune in every Thursday at 2 p.m. and pick up those free complimentary credits. That is awesome. How do people find that? If they're a follower, we're out on social media. Okay. So we always post it, and we send a notice twice a week. We give you uh, two chances to uh, sign up for them. And we, we generally have between 200 and 500 attendees, mm-hmm. so I think people know about us. Yeah. yeah. I, think, I think that's a fair <laughs> thing. Uh, folks, but a lot of you who don't, we'd love for you to join us. Absolutely. And uh, there, there are a whole lot of folks out there doing webinars that love to have 200 to 500 people on a webinar, that's for sure. Uh, they may not have that many in a year uh, on all their webinars, but you've got that in one. So that's pretty we awesome. Do. Congratulations Thank on that success. You. Thank you. They, they are good. They're yeah, good for well, our followers well, and, and people, our readers. Well, people voting with their feet and their ears, right? Yeah, there okay. you go. That's, yeah. that's great. And we so, love our sponsors. Talk about those folks. Let's yes. let's get that in there. Talk yes. about those folks that are interested in sponsorship. What are you looking for? Yes. There? Well, we, we connect HR professionals with the vendors, mm-hmm. the services that they need. Yep. So we provide lead generation for our sponsors. And uh, we have a lot of partners who also take care of our readers. So it's a really good relationship mm-hmm. between our sponsors and our readers. We have employment law. We have a lot of law firms who support the magazine. Mm -hmm. We have one of our key areas that we cover are top educational programs for Mm. HR professionals. Mm. So each issue, we we provide classes that are going on, courses that might be of interest to you. SHRM and HRCI are both major sponsors of the magazine. So if you get the, the magazine, then you're going to get all the latest information on top educational programs as well and ways to help you earn more credits. That's terrific. So I can't imagine upon hearing uh, this interview, folks that have not already gotten connected with you in HR Professionals Magazine, that they wouldn't want to do that. So let's give them directions on how they can find you. That's great. Well, our website is very simple to remember, hrprofessionalsmagazine.com. Mm-hmm. And you can reach me at Cynthia at hrprosmagazine.com. Terrific. And as you said, there are links. If you're a SHRM chapter member on any of the nine southeastern states, you can find links there. That's absolutely correct, John. You you got me. Uh, you taught me. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> I learned, I'm learning something here. Cynthia, uh, this has been great. Cynthia Thompson, folks, uh, congratulations on your success and you. uh, the, the, w- the way the magazine has gone and continued uh Continued success. Thank you so much for having us. Absolutely. Folks, again, this is John Ray alongside Cynthia Thompson. Thank you for joining us here at SOAR 2022.